Good morning. Sacred Spiritual Healer. As I was meditating and preparing for the reading, the song came on for the collective to know you. A sky full of stars by Coldplay. A sky full of stars by Coldplay. So look that up on, on YouTube Play. There's messages there for someone in the collective. Also, <coughs> look up the crystal for today from Spirit, which is also going to go with the message that I got last night. Tangerine Quartz. So it's this one. And it says, naturally coated transparent orange is an excellent stone to use after shock or trauma, especially at the soul level. It can be used for soul retrieval and integration. Healing after physical or psychic attacks, tangerine quartz can be used in past life healing and is beneficial where the soul feels it. And this is... It has made a mistake for which it must pay on a soul level. The soul learns to find the gifts in the experience. In other words, our triggers or lessons. Uh, quartz activates and harmon harmonizes the sacral chakra. Alright. Which that uh, stone actually goes along with the message I received. Let me get that. Alright, so the so the message through the night was the um is protecting the dia currently um not physically, but spiritually in the 5D, he feels he needs to protect her from the herself, um, self-sabotage, I'm hearing, and for healing away from the drama, and those that want to bicker about her. Uh, his karmic shows their ill intentions and is trying to harm any, harm the DF and those around the DM. So again this is uh, in the 5D. Alright, so maybe um, if you have felt like a lot of uh, confliction or um, anger in in your day, and it's probably because in the 5D, the, um, the karmic, whatever that may be, the parent or spouse, friend, whoever their karmic is, is in the spiritual realm battling against you currently. And to remember it's a journey, but to be in the present today, be in the present and not um, for today, not tomorrow. So we need to not be focused so much. We already know the outcome. And to not focus on how we're going to get to that. Or don't focus on the actual outcome. To focus on today. And be present in the moment.
shuffle these before I turn on the recording. It's very good. Oh. Overall energy for the collective. Overall energy for the collective, please. Tell me precise messages that we get. The overall energy of this collective today. The overall energy of the collective in this way. Tell me precise messages here, please. So the divine feminines are feeling like a uh, free spirit, free mus um, wild mustang type energy. In tune to their third eye, the light is on, they see, they are the light. Um, so we have the horse, the divine feminine. It's an earth energy, so you feel grounded. But you are the light. Your third eye is open. And right now we're feeling like a wild mustang for you. This is the oyster. So even in the dark, you're surrounded by your spirits, guides, and your ancestors that have gone before you. And it's protecting you in your outer shell while you shine your light. And raise your, remember to raise your vibration. So the first one up for the Divine Masculine is our energy. The crow, which is very a uh, spiritual bird, uh, bird. And he uh, knows you're his, you're his light. You're shining the light and he's protecting you. Uh, in the dark, which from the message that we received from Spirit um, in the 5D. So he is protecting you in the 5D because he knows you are his light. And he is strong like the tiger, majestic, um, determined to get to his feminine. He's following his intuition and his crown chakra is open, his third eye is open, and he's determined to come forward. Some of you may still be feeling that energy. Doesn't mean everyone is, but the majority on this way. Spirit. 
So many cards for the divine. these things have already happened or you're nowhere near it then um, you're welcome to watch or just um, go into find one of the readings regarding the collective journey um, that best fits your where you're at with your divine counterpart Let's put that one up and pull the flip over. Bottom of the deck, I have justice. Go ahead. Seven cards, so it's going to come up. Divine counterparts. Seven cards, so it's going to come up. Seven cards. So just please, what would you like to know regarding the counterpart today? Is there or not? These messages are for today to be present in the moment. Masculines, the runners, the 
First card up for the divine chasers. You're in a space um, today of juggling your options, juggling on the journey, kind of being carefree um, while you're grounded to Mother Earth. You're juggling things in the science. You know. Focus your third eye is open. You can see the eye here on his forehead. Um, but he's so focused on juggling his options. Do I just uh, focus on myself or do I continue uh, forward? The loyal dog is bringing a gift to you. So be alert. Um, Get focused, meditate so you don't miss the ships coming in. In other words, they're going to go right by. Some of you may have um, other options coming in, soulmates that are also, because once you're filled with self love, you are in confidence, you're more attracted to other options. So people um, may be coming towards you, maybe other soulmates or um, people in your workplace or circle of them, friends. They see you as confident, which is very appealing to them. But you are holding on to your faith. You're holding on to the um, science of this journey. Um, you're trustworthy. You're draped in green for your heart chakra and your Royal Companion is um, at your side. And as the Queen of Pentacles, um, you are very confident in yourself, so you're just resting, working on you, uh, believing in yourself, believing in the journey, and waiting for, not waiting, sorry. Knowing that you're Counterpart um, is in 5D and coming forward soon. You used to be in an energy of the King, Knight, you know, Nine of Swords, um, where you were uh, divine sources. Your crown chakra is open, you're getting messages, you're not sure if you could, could do it, so you're covering your eyes, even though if you remove your hands, you could see. Um, your loyal companion is here and it's there was nothing to fear to begin with. Um, other words, the animal would have been in a defensive mode group, but they're there to protect you, your spirit guides. So um, that was your past energy because this is upside down. Um, you have taken, removed the hands from your eyes so you can see the things that were in the shadows. Perhaps through it because of the new moon, um, you had to deal with some shadow work, but you come out of that with the Queen of Cups and your um, intuition is high, your emotions are, um, you're in your emotions and tuned to the Divine. You're in your power, dipping your toes 
in the journey still, but you're covering your cup. Um, perhaps they brought in a small offer and they said, no, I think I'll focus on me for a while. So right now you're focusing on you doing the inner child work, um, healing yourself, um, which is great. And as the message from Spirit um, said, the karmic um, and others around are, uh, you know, feel a little defensive because they're bickering. Maybe rumors, maybe other people of lower vibration don't understand um, how you're doing so well on your journey. Your twin uh, counterpart or divine counterpart is with you um, and free. He knows he's free to come and go. But it's connected to you. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. You're, you're uh, working on improving your pentacles with um, your loyal companion. You know he's there even though you're not paying any attention to him. Um, but perhaps you're overwatering um, with putting, pouring in, trying to nurture too much. So continue to send the five, love in the 5D, unconditional love for yourself, unconditional love for your divine counterpart. She clearly is draped in green, so she's her heart chakra energy is open. Chakra, heart chakra is open, and the symbol on her arm is the science of the journey. So um, don't over nurture your counterpart um, by nourishing you then they will come and you have the hair font uh, so this is the uh, your highest form like the high priestess so in control of uh, your energies you know you, um, your talents are gifts from the divine. You're in your solar, your crown chakra is open. There's two letters on here, B, that I'm being drawn to, I'm not sure why. You're uh, in your higher, highest form, highest self. You're in tune with the divine spirit um, because in not in your earthly uh, you're grounded in your beliefs without the faith um, because you know it's not about what you see with your eyes, it's what you see with your third eye. And both of you have had to uh, be humble and lose the ego to get to this point. Which now your cup is filled and overflowing. You're in the spirit and the little fish is uh, jumping up out of the cup. And you know that this cup is uh, there in the 5D, that you're already in union in the 5D. You share one cup. Right. And for your counterpart, they recently have received death, a new beginning. Death of the old of the, their ego, which would have been shown here as well. And since this one's on the uh, death on the horse, I'm being drawn to a lot, um, almost in the form of battle. So while he's had his death of ego and protecting his journey with his divine counterpart. And um, the counterpart is the High Priestess, so that's good. We've got um, both here on that. King of Cups, we have King of Cups. No. So, High Priestess, you're uh, in touch with your higher self. Your spirit guides are with you. You know the science behind what you're working on, but using your gifts. And you have the Sun card. The happiest card of the deck. It almost also looks like um, manifestation um, there. Um, in 
you're in tune to your higher self and the sun is out brightly shining so we have four cups your counterpart is um, ignoring these other options ignoring uh, the karmic or other people trying to get his attention things that are trying to pull him away from his focus which is you in the cup of love and he knows that you're his delight um, guiding him he or she again that's the this is the counterpart okay five of cups um, he still feels like um, like he wants he was out in the cold he knows you're shining the light and he wants to come in out of the cold and he's been very humble and he may not have much to offer but he'll offer whatever he does have sorry I don't think the light is glaring on that okay nine of coins pentacles um it's a very happy card you know your own that your counterpart knows um, they're working on their pentacles or coins um to come offer the div his divine feminine and she's she's just shining her light and also working on her coins and with her spirit guides the emperor so we've got the high elephant the queen the emperor queen of pentacles queen of cups the high priestess and the emperor so feeling very strong confident holding on to his uh, staff that is glowing also noticing the wands um, surrounding him are uh, the look right here like 1111 for the symbol and he's just feeling in his power and ready to move forward and at the end he also um, has uh, made he has his ten of cups and he wants to come forward and be loyal to you um, and for it to only be the two of you and strength so he's trying to build the strength to come forward because he dreams of holding you or she um, as his lover there's also two dolphins being highlighted here and of course the strength card he's trying to find the strength to uh, bring forward his cup Okay, this time we have uh, the Two of Cups um, and again the Lovers. Okay, any other messages for, for the combined energies of the Chasers and the Runners? So, 
this one jumped out. Um, the fool card, so um, both sides are ready to make the leap of faith. And other messages um, for the collective on this order. Spirit. Any other messages? Taking the leap of faith, um, walking away from that which doesn't serve him or her. Any other messages? Any other messages there that you want them to know for their day? Yes, both parties have had the death of um, that which no longer serves them. They've moved on because of that leap of faith. So both sides have had the death of their, who they once were. You, you're coming into a new cycle to bring this uh, Ten of Cups in together. From their ancestors, the collective on this road, messages for their, from the ancestors. The and cleansing them, balanced relationships, self-expression, boundaries. So set your boundaries. Self-expression is um, truthful communication with your counterpart to balance the relationships. A seven and one is eight. And the buck. So, um, white buck, which is rare, which this connection would be very rare, right? Um, and very divinely guided through the light above. Turtle clan, we get grounding, so be sure and ground to Mother Earth um, in your meditation. Steady progress on this journey, not as, you know, only those that will make on the long, you have to be in it for the long haul. Thank you, Spirit. Um, Solidity. Both of you are working on self. Both of you are working on this journey together. Um, slow and steady. And you see a shell has, um, is being lit up because you are the, you're both um, shining with uh, unconditional love and light. Big winds moon. A lot of moon energy here. Uh, leadership, self-discipline, psychic abilities. You're you now uh, in tune to your psychic abilities and how to use them using telepathic um, messages with your counterpart. Through self-discipline, you're probably meditating and doing that healing, but it does take self-discipline to do so. And you, the one watching the video most likely, um, is the leader. You're the chaser. They learn from you. Eight and one is nine. Almost completion. Bring in messages. 
messages for the collective. Like right here when it's done. Some of these cards are so large. <laughs> Messages from divine source, please. Dream Christmas messages from divine source, our angels, spirit guides. Send messages to the collective on this way. This one. Thank you, spirit. Alright, the diamond hearted. Dakini, heart centered, shining brightly in her power. I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free, which goes with some of these other uh, cards, right? The, the one about the ego death, the one about the uh, coming out of the dark, and also with your ego running free or being free, letting go of the ego and being free. So, right. Mary of Nazareth, the mother of God, I am blessed, my courage gives birth to the divine. So you're um, from your You're doing the inner child healing. You're in tuned to your higher self. Um, you're using your gifts for the divine source in everything you uh, manifest is give, giving birth from the divine to the divine. Nurture yourself. Write down three things you can do to self-love. Three things you can do for your spirit. Three things you can do for your mind and body. Massage, yoga, tarot. And then do them. Walk it off. If you are ready to spout off, then walk it off. Don't react. Just walk it off. Walk away and breathe. Happiness is, oops, no. happiness is, is happiness doubled. Happiness shared is happiness doubled. So share, give, um, you know, maybe donate to a nonprofit or volunteer for the food bank or your local shelter or find something for selfless act and share your happiness. On that. I mean, every day you can just, you know, wishing people a good, nice day, a blessed day, um, is sharing your happiness because it will make them feel have a better day, make them feel like noticed. Manifest your heart's wishes will be manifest. Your heart's wishes will be granted as you wish. Echoes in your soul. 
So you have to, uh, to manifest, you have to want it from your soul level with passion. Uh, use positive energy and believe in yourself that it's going to come true. You will be transformed by self-love and self-faith. Malachite. It has a copper concentrate inside. It aids in healing, aching joints, reduces swelling. It is dark, rich green and light green throughout it. Which I think I have. That's a myth. Yeah. So this is a malachite. You can see the dark green and light green through it. The DM has, is leveling up um, and sees the truth, seeing the truth. Well, that's good. Now, as long as they speak their truth, right? Messages from this process. Raise your own vibration first. Do you or they lie? Never felt good enough. Uh, most likely this because you never felt good enough as a child. So you have to maybe grandioso things that happen. Maybe you're not full out lying, but you're making it uh, seem better than the truth. Right? Which is still a lie. So that would be because you never felt good enough as a child. Perhaps your parents lied to you as a child. Um, to protect yourself, sometimes people will, um, as a child, you, if you lied, it was because you were protecting yourself from maybe getting, you know, disciplined uh, in the wrong way. Maybe as a child you didn't feel worthy of love. The universe is your teacher. So those lessons were being sent or the triggers that are coming across, it's um, lessons um, from the universe for us to grow from. Sometimes not all triggers are from uh, the divine counterpart. Some of our triggers are from the universe, which are, could be something at work, uh, maybe, you know, a disagreement with a coworker or songs that come on the radio you hear and you right away think of your counterpart. Um, and if, depending on how you're reacting to that is something you still have to heal. Teacher. 3D, it's an illusion. 5D, more, um, you know, time is an illusion as well. Or multi dimensional. Spend energy with like-minded people. So that goes with your vibration of raising your vibration, positive energy. Um, don't be around people of low vibration. Don't be around people that are so negative and dark. Um, and even though our counterparts were, um, had a lot to work from, maybe they were the dark side and we were the light side, but um, that we know on that journey that that's part of bringing them to the light. Okay, I've got to fix that on the computer. I'll have to shut down in the middle of this. Alright, <clears throat> three messages from this cloud spirit, three messages from, thank you. Three messages from this cloud Energy equal give and take. 
So just as you're healing them now at this level, they're healing you. They're healing you sometimes through the triggers and sending you positive vibes. Vision. Visualize 5D for victory. Visualize the union that you already have in 5D. Visualize you and your soul uh, on a solar level that you're already with your counterpart. Spirit said they know. So whatever it is you're wanting, if they know, they know. If you're having, um, if you're with a karmic lesson partner, then they know. Just as we know. 444, four, four, protection. When you see this number, spirit or divine is protecting you. The universe and spirit. Spirit guides are protecting you at this time. When you see this number, pay attention to your thoughts and environment. Out of balance. Meditate to get into balance. Um, if there's some of you that aren't into the meditation yet, perhaps um, now's a good time to start because some of you are still out of balance. Optical illusion. Take another look. Um, especially just having the new moon and now we're in the waxing moon cycle. Um, things were hidden in the dark, perhaps. We just know it was an optical illusion, um, perhaps for lessons. We need to revisit that, take another look. Sacrifice. I'll hold it up a little bit more. Okay. So, on both parties have had to do sacrifices, right? We walked away from things that no longer served us that may have not felt like you were sacrificing. Um, but things had to be cut away to grow, to make um, room for the unconditional love, the healing that's taken place. 44 divine number um, she believes um, and is reaching for divine guidance okay the serpent four and six the number is 46 but uh, six and four is ten completion uh, this reminds me of the kundalini awakening um, the serpent is on both ends here and here which is kundalini awakening is the two snakes um, energy that's uh, coming up from your sacral chakra area up through your spine. So during meditation, if you haven't had the kundalini awakening, then you can um, bring that out with meditation, with yoga. The gatherer. You know, uh, two, tw number 21, 2 and 1 is 3. The gatherer, um, gathering what they need to move forward um, in their spiritual uh, gifts, to move forward on their mission, their soul path. And they know that everything they need, the seeds were planted and have come to har time for harvest. 8 and 1 is 9, for, from 18. The Earth Keeper. I don't know why that looks so much brighter. I'm trying to get it so you can see the card a little better. 
the earth keeper. As you walk on Mother Earth, uh, you heal her, and Mother Earth heals you. So walk barefoot on some earth in your yard and at the beach um, to get the healing energy from Mother Earth. Plant a tree, do something for the, because we are the earth keeper, we're raising the, the part of this journey is raising the vibration on the earth. Forty is a four for completion. You're in your higher self, completely in tune to the divine source. Regardless of if it's a new moon or full moon, in the dark and light, you're one with your higher self. The ghost dance. 22, again, a power number, let's see. The ghost dance. Um, your spirit guides, the ghosts, so to speak, of your spirits, um, ancestors that have gone before you, um, dance around you to help you raise your vibration. So you can know that they're there, talk to them. Um, and dance. Again, let's see. Dancing uh, raises the. I don't know, I'm sorry. Uh, the ghost dance is encouraging you to dance or move around uh, with the spirits because it helps you raise your vibration. Three and eight. Eleven. That's a good completion number. The mystical shaman. Use your healing energy. Um, if you're a light, light worker, use your healing energy to heal the earth, heal those around you, heal your twin and yourself. Anything else? This is going to be a long Angel of Clearing, your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. So um, you should be, you know, you're getting the messages um, of truth are coming through for communication um, soon. Listen to your intuition because your spirit guides are trying to help you through the confusion. Angel of Pleasure. She's, let's see, take pleasure in all the things you do. So, yeah, if, if you're hating on doing your job, find a job that you are more passionate about um, and that brings you pleasure to help you raise your vibration, which will raise the vibration of Earth. And on um, this um, Angel of Pleasure, take pleasure in all the things you do. Get in your soul path, your mission, and that will also bring you pleasure. It's what you came here to do. Um, angel of Prayer, ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance. So if you don't know what your soul path is, pray about it uh, to the divine or to the universe. Ask your spirit guides for um, guidance in what your mission is supposed to be, what you came here to do. If you need help uh, with inner child healing, with guidance on 
how to get into mission, um, email me at sacredspiritualhealer at gmail.com. I hope you all have a blessed day, and namaste.